Hi everybody, hope all of you are doing great. Today is Sunday and uh, Sunday is basically my cleaning day. I do clean the cages on Sunday. So start of the day wasn't really good. Uh, came in a bird room and found out uh, that in this breeding cage hen has started attacking the chicks. So let me show you. As you can see the blood on these chicks. So these two chicks, they are fine, but uh, she has uh, killed one baby, the youngest one. She attacked him uh, really bad, and when I came in the bird room, uh, he was dead. You can see the blood on the, the box as well, as on the back of this gray baby. Uh, now I took her out. Let me show you the hen. And uh, just give me a second. This is the hen the the gray hand you can see the blood on her face and uh, yeah it was kind of a, a very disturbing scene when i came in the bird room so this is the unfortunate part of the hobby we don't know why the hands or the male just start attacking the chicks no idea at all but at the same time uh some good news as well there were three babies uh, these three they were out of uh, the nest boxes uh, quite happy with the quality, especially the grey greens. So let me just focus in properly. Yeah, so really happy with the quality. Let me show you the father. Father is a yellow face, a grey bird. I don't know if you can see clearly on the video because uh, the cage is just in front of the window. It's a quite a bright light behind them but i will try to fix the color in the editing anyway this gray green baby is a super baby a really really quality bird uh, he's going to be one of the best from the bunch uh, this hand let me show you the hand as well so this is the hand uh, i'll make sure she's not started laying again because uh, she sh will be going to one of my friend soon so i'll take her out of the uh breeding cage this is a hand i'll take her out uh, in a couple of uh, days time i don't want to take her out right now because the babies have just come out today and uh, if you take the hands out while the babies are down on the floor uh, they can the male can start uh, going aggressive towards baby hands i haven't really checked i think all three of them they're males but uh, I'll check it later. If all of them they males, I will take the hen out. But if there is any baby hen in there, then I will uh, uh, leave the adult hen in there. So that's the situation. I'm very happy with the result. By the way, this male is uh, split dilute. So it's a possibility that uh, these babies, they might be carrying the dilute gene. So what I've done, I have left the hide. Uh, if in case one of the parents decide to attack the chicks, they can always go and uh, uh, go in the hide. And most of the time, 99 out of 100 times, the parents they don't attack the chicks in the hide. And uh, left some millet sprays on the floor. Uh, I don't prefer to give soft food to the babies, so I have taken the soft food out and given give, uh, given them uh, growths. They are peeled oats. And what I do in my normal regular seed mix, this is my regular seed mix. I hope you can see it. What I do, I add a bit of uh, Japanese millet to the seed. So why it does, because this is a soft seed, it basically becomes easier for the babies to have uh, this type of seed. You see the quality of this baby is very i don't know why the camera is not focusing properly today yeah there you go so this is going to be a best of the bench i will keep an eye on them so when you have these babies come out and the babies are on a bigger size uh, like these ones the grays i think the smallest the gray greens are the quite decently sized babies so i'll keep an eye and see every before the light turns off around eight half eight at night time i'll see if they have uh, enough food in their crop if not then normally i do hand feed them 
Uh, I prefer to hand feed babies once a day because uh, even though they're eating, they're not uh, eating enough seed. And uh, if the hen is uh, on laying again, most of the times the males, they stop uh, feeding them as well. So I, as, uh, as I said, I had seven fertile eggs from this pair. I left three eggs, three fertile eggs under this pair. And uh, I moved, I think, two fertile eggs under here. The, both the gray babies here. They are from that pair. They should be coming out soon. So let me show you the quality. This baby is going to be decent. It's another male. And then it is... Uh, that's another male. This is from this pair. I think only one baby is here. Yeah, it's only one baby from uh, this pair up uh, here and I did move three babies I think in a different nest box let me show you those ones it's only the hen who's rearing the chicks I did lost the uh, her partner the male so all these three babies they are from uh, that pair the first one uh, the yellow faced gray male and the cinnamon gray green hen so what I can tell the opaline hen she is going to be a hen as the both appearance they're normals like cinnamon normal and the normal yellow face so she's an opaline so she is definitely a hen then there is a chance that uh, this uh, i don't want her to bite me she's okay i think this is another hen let's see yeah it looks like a hen and uh, then is uh, a gray green baby so pretty happy with the results seven chicks from one pair so i don't need to breed this hen again so what i'll do i will pair this male i really like this bird he's a superb bird very stylish got a bit of flecking but his parents were really clean i don't know from where he got the flecking and as you can see the babies they're very clean as well so i will pair a dilute hen with this male uh, in the next round so yeah i will leave the this uh, um, hen in a breeding cage for another couple of days I'll take her out uh, she will go to my friend and breed over there and uh, this male will get a new hen most likely I've got a few albinos which are split dilute he's not split albino so even if I give him an albino hen he will not produce any albino babies yes the male they will be uh, will be albino splits but uh, there will be a chance that uh, I will get some dilute from this male, I really want to breed uh, yellow face dilute. Let me show you the hands I have. Uh, I've got uh, this albino hand, she's most likely split dilute, and it's a better one there. That's a hand, yeah, she's a better hand, and most likely I'll pair that hand with him. There's another couple of uh, black. Opaline, but because of, I know that he's the opaline split now, I don't I don't want to really pair up that uh, opaline hand with him. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be pairing. Uh, this is a killer hand. She is the one who killed the baby. Uh, really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. But anyway, it's a part of the hobby. Uh, that's why my voice is a bit down as well. I was thinking that this year is going pretty well not a single attack yet and the, most of the babies they are ready to come out of the breeding cage but unfortunately it is what it is you can't you can't do anything about these things and she attacked them in the box if they were out of the box i do understand the birds they do attack the chicks when they are out of the box but it's, it's very rare that that hand starts attacking when the chicks are actually in the box and the uh, very kind of a uh, surprising it was for me that she attacked the youngest uh, baby not the the older ones i don't really understand why she did that only reason i it, it comes in my mind that that baby was uh, a normal that can be a possibility the mutation or whatever how their brain works when it comes to these kind of things i don't really understand at all that why did she attack, attack the normal baby and the baby was exactly the color of a male it was a normal blue baby 
her partner. And uh, it was on a different mutation, even though the hens normally, they don't attack the males, they go for the baby hens. And the males, they go for the baby males. So the males, they don't attack, uh, normally don't attack the baby hens, and the hens don't attack the baby males. But in this case, it was a hen attacking uh, a baby male and letting the both the hens go, uh, his siblings. So, yeah, uh, not a very good day in a sense. But anyway, I just wanted to share uh, these three babies that has come out of the box with you guys. And, uh, yeah, hope you have liked the videos. And, uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.